Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my witch casket for December. Right. For December 2021. This one comes late. I think they ship it out the middle of the month but it's from the UK so it takes you know longer to get to me. What am I stepping on? Um, so anyways, hi guys, welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa, and on my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings, as well as one self-care subscription box, tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews, and I'm also going to be adding a lot more things to my channel because I just finished all the overtime at my job, y'all. I can't say that I'll never pick up overtime again, but working 60 to 72 hours a week is not going to happen. Like, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to live that life, you know what I'm saying? Also on my channel, I like to drink Monster Energy drinks. My favorite is the Ultra Fiesta, which is actually really hard to find now. You know what? Fucking Monster. Hey Monster, I really think that you should make me an affiliate. If you give me free Monsters, I will plug your shit. I'll plug your shit now. That would be really cool. I really want to be a Monster affiliate. I'm going to have to figure that out because I spend lots of dollars on Monster Energy drinks. Um, do you guys think, don't you think that they should give me some free ones? Okay, anyways. All right, let's dive in. I'm actually gonna unbox something else probably at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Um, I got a box in the mail, to figure out where to put everything. I got a box in the mail and I had zero idea of what it was uh, because I'm like, this isn't a subscription box and it's here from Missouri and I was like, what the fuck? So I'll tell you about that, stay tuned to the end. All right, so right on top, I have a sticker and it gives me my discount code. You guys have to subscribe. You have to be a subscriber to shop in their store. Um, and so they give us a discount code, but as you can see, I've got this free spirit sticker. I'm excited. I've been putting these on my Ikea Alex drawers. I've got like a thing over there that like a bunch of those drawers from Ikea and I've got like spell kits in one, candles in another, essential oils, blah, blah, blah. So our theme, as you can see, it's a free spirit. Okay. I was thinking that was something to do with that, but it is the spirit element. If you guys can see that. All right. And then on the inside, it just has a very light. You can't hardly see it. Pentacle. And it says, greetings, magical witches. We hope the contents of our December casket encourage you to nurture a deeper spiritual connection and help you to connect to spirit to aid you in your magical work and your daily lives. Please read through this pamphlet so you can familiarize yourself with this month's magical items. With your social media posts, comments, likes, and shares, you all make us so happy. I just made that up. You all make us so appreciated and loved, and we truly hope that you feel the same. We are so, so grateful for each and every one of you. Please do tag us in your posts using the hashtag, hashtag witch casket, so we can easily find and share them. We notice and appreciate every single one of them and they bring us so much joy. If you have any questions or comments, you can email info at witchcasket.co.uk with your feedback. We love hearing from you. Until next time, be well, Debanella. So the creators of the Witch Casket is um, Debanella, who is a mother and daughter team, which I think is amazing. So, and on the side of the box, um, we've got, can you see it? Okay, their website. Their box is so cute. Okay, and on top we have um, this postcard, and it looks as if it's like a as above, so below situation. And then it says, which casket? You can't hardly see it. There's like a sun with rays on the back. It's very faint, so it's not translating super well right here. All right, and then we have a bag that says connecting to spirit contents, excuse me, I always make up shit. Contains everything you need to ask spirit for insight. See that? Yeah, again, it's kind of light. And as you guys can see, I got my nails done. Yay! I have not gotten my nails done since like last June. Like it's been that long. It's been like six months. So I got a pedicure and a manicure today. It was kind of my like, yay, you just finished all your overtime. You're never going to be able to afford this again. <laughs> Get it done. So. 
me and two of my uh, best coworker friends went and got our nails done. So, yay. All right. So, let's see if we can find this. Where is it? Oh, okay. Connecting to Spirit Ritual Kit. Contains everything you need to ask Spirit for insight. So we have a white tea light candle. We've got um, marigold. We've got cardamom seeds. And then we have a card. So on the front it says witch casket. On the back it says Spirit, see what I write, then grant me your divine insight. You guys can see that. So there's a place to write that right there. And then we've got a little info card in there. And it says, do the following with intent. Write down the things you'd like insight into on the card. Place the candle in a suitable holder or a heat resistant dish. Circle the candle with the cardamom seeds and marigold. Sit with the card a while and think about the questions you'd like to have answered. Then say the following, spirit, I welcome thee. Please bring the answers to me. Give me insight. Help me see. As I will it, so mote it be. Meditate as the candle burns. Relax and visualize the connection you are making to spirit. See your intuition. See what answers present themselves. Thank you, spirit, for your insight and wisdom. Very nice. Something smells amazing in here. Not in this ritual bag, but in the box. Can't tell if the candle smells like something. All right, next we have a Witch Casket 2022 desk calendar. So this folds out. Okay, because of the different time zones across the globe, the full and new moon dates can vary by a day depending on where in the world you are. This calendar is based on the timings here in the UK. Powerful new moon, excuse me, new and full moon magic can be. My dog is crying. <laughs> New and full moon magic can be practiced within a day, either side of the moon phases. So magically, the time difference is insignificant. So let me, so it's good, you know, it folds out so it can sit like on your altar or desk. And so here is our January. And it's got the symbol for Capricorn. And then it's got your pentacle and earth, air, fire, water, and spirit symbols. And then it tells the um, Capricorn it's from December 22nd to January 19th. Um, and so obviously each one you're going to have that type of thing. So awesome. Yay. That is going to be so cool. I'm going to set that on over here, but it's going to go on my desk um, later. So, oh, let me let me see if it says anything about it. 2022 Magical Dates Desk Calendar. And they did say that uh, on it, you're going to get your new and full moons. So if you can see there, there's a full moon um, on the 17th. And a new moon I see on the second. I thought there was another new moon on the 31st. Okay, she put, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the UK, so there's this a little bit off. So she's got it on the 1st of uh, February, and our calendar here in the US is um, uh, January 31st. It's a witch casket exclusive. It says, keep your eye on the zodiac, major sabbats and moon phases with our 2022 Magical Dates desk calendar. And then we have Elemental Tea Blend Spirit, and they always give us um, two of these. Connects with Spirit with this magical blend of Jasmine and Lotus. Ooh, I just got a new order. Brew with intent, stir clockwise, and affirm, I invoke the element of Spirit to show me my limitless potential and connect me with all of creation. Ingredients, obviously, jasmine and lotus. Um, okay, and I already, the stuff in the pamphlet says the same thing, so I already read it from the back. And speaking of my store, <laughs> here is one of my shirts. It's got a messy thing with the moon phases down the center. 
If you guys are unfamiliar with my witchy store, it is linked below entitled My Witchy Store, <laughs> but it's Luna Moth Creations Co. as well on Etsy. So there you go. All right. Ooh, I think I know what this is. So we get this cute little bag. There we go. It's focusing with the um, elemental symbols. And I think I know what's in it. I could feel it. I'm telling you guys right now, freaking witch casket, favorite. I love, love this subscription. Oh, look at that. It is a teaspoon. And it's got the pentacle up here and then the element, um, symbols oh and then it actually kind of has like a moon phase down here a little bit oh it's so pretty i'm so excited and i love I, all their packaging is always so beautiful oh my gosh okay let's see here enchanting elemental spoon which casket exclusive use our exclusive spoon to stir your potions brews and elixirs stir oh Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna read part of this because it's tipping us off to something else. Or as a beautiful herb scoop, which actually also, guys, if you're interested in my witchy store, I do um, herbs by the jar. I have the cute little 20 milliliter um, glass jars with the cork, and I do my apothecary labels on it, and I do use a spoon to scoop into um, into my glass jars. So. All right, so now we have a scroll, which we usually get in our witch caskets. Get the sticker off. I don't want to ruin anything. Okay, we'll put the sticker over there. All right, so it's a spirit, the fifth element. So it's a big scroll. I'll have to read this to y'all because it's a, it's very, I don't think it's going to translate correctly on there. So it says, the element of spirit, sometimes referred to as the ether or the universe, is present in all things and is a bridge between physical and spiritual, between body and soul, between the physical and ethereal. Spirit is the binding force between all other elements and between everything in existence. The properties of spirit are balance, potential, eternity, illumination, perfection. Spirit is intangible. It is the invisible matter which connects everything, an all-encompassing element with which we often connect during med meditation and rituals during divination many believe that many believe they connect to spirit and their answers come from this ethereal field of collective knowledge spirit is the element which feeds our intuition which when we connect to it silently presents us with knowledge and insight since spirit is not an earthbound element with traditional correspondences you should use any herbs colors crystals and tools which resonate with you when working or connect to spirit. All right. I don't know that it says anything differently in here about that. Um, it just says that it focuses on the... Um, on this elusive element. This information can be copied to your grimoire, book of shadows, or you can simply place the sheet inside your spell book. Framed, these scrolls can also add splendor to your walls of your home. So I will be putting this into my new spell book that I got from a different box. I'm trying to figure out where to put it right now. Oh, and also guys, yes, stay tuned till the end of this video because after I do this box, I'm gonna be opening another special box that I received and I will be making an announcement. Okay, sorry if you guys are new to me. I do sing a lot. It's not pleasant. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it is not something I'll quit my day job over. So then we got a quartz inscribed with the spirit symbol. Very nice. And then they always give us a little card. I'll read this because again, it's kind of hard to translate. Associated with the element of spirit, as it is associated with all elements, quartz is a master healing crystal, a power stone which amplifies energy and enhances the properties of other crystals. 
can be used to open and align all the chakras. And it probably, I think that's my son's dog that's whining. Um, and it just says that this is a uh, witch casket exclusive because it's got the element um, symbol on it. Most of, the, most of their stuff is um, exclusive things, which I love. It makes me very happy. Woo! We got a, a pen. Very good. Can you guys see? Oh, it's so pretty. Very nice. And then on the back, there's what the card looks like. But, okay. Let's find it. So I did, guys. I finally bought, like, a banner thing to hang my um, pins on. So hopefully this weekend, because my last day of overtime was the other day and um, I'm off like this whole weekend. And so my boyfriend's coming over and I'm going to be like, we're going to hang some shit. All right. Where is our enamel pin? Show your love for the element of spirit with our ethereal enamel pin, which casket exclusive. Thank you, Witch Casket. All right, now we've got some, ja okay, so Witch Casket, Elemental Incense, Spirit, and it's Jasmine and Lotus, it says. Let me smell it. Oh, I think this is what I'm smelling. That smells very good. Um, oh, come on. Okay, oh, I just ripped the box. What can you do? It'll end up in the trash anyways after I do all my incense. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. Okay, let's read about our incense. Elemental incense, a witch casket exclusive. Invoke the element of spirit with this intuitive incense blend of jasmine and lotus. Light the incense and affirm I connect to spirit and I draw from the collective knowledge of the universe. Very nice. Superb. All right. And then we have Witch Casket Spirit Oracle Cards. And it says, connect to spirit as you draw from the deck. Ask a question and turn a card. Pull cards to see what insight spirit has to share with you. Place a card in your magical space to represent intentions or to request answers. Fun. wonder if it says anything differently. Uh, no, it's just a witch casket exclusive. So let's look at the cards. If I can get them all out. Okay, so the front of them say witch casket, spirit oracle cards. Okay, so we have be joyous, allow the small things to bring happiness. Be heard. It's time to communicate your feelings. You can heal. It's time to let go. Perseverance. Keep going. You're almost there. Protection. Build a force field. Protect yourself. I need to make my own oracle deck. It's going to have a lot of curse words in it. <laughs> Love yourself. You are divine magic. Look out. Can you trust your surroundings? Manifesting your desires will be fulfilled. Be true. There is beauty in authenticity. Y you guys can't totally see all of it because some of the writing on here is white. What is happening with my hair? Okay. Um, see it through. Your patience will be rewarded. Forgive. Forgive yourself and others. Fortune. Fortune will soon smile on you. Learning. Your mistakes make you wiser. So I should have been turning these over. Mindfulness. Recognize the magic around you. Be silent. Spirit has a message for you. New chapter. Don't be afraid to start fresh. That is so what I'm getting ready to do, man. Um... Quit working all these extra hours at my muggle job and start putting more time into my witchy jobs. You're safe. Spirit is looking out for you. 
Boundaries. Be honest with your feelings. Ugh. Yeah. Um. Shout out to my good friend Aiden. Um, me and her have been talking about boundaries. Um, I have a hard time setting boundaries. <laughs> Especially with the people that I actually love. But with pretty much everyone and everything. And so that's something that I really need to, to do. So I can start spending time with people that I love. But also making time for myself. Right? And I'm sure that you guys especially us women and like single moms. I mean, my kids are grown, but you know, it's really hard. We, we, we make time for people and things that maybe aren't as important and we, we neglect ourselves. So energy, protect your energy, focus it wisely. These are all things that I need to do. Limitless. Your possibilities are infinite. Go with the flow. The divine has a plan. Courage. Forge ahead boldly. I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I'm starving. Gratitude. Give thanks for all your blessings. Intentions. First intend, then believe. All right. Let's pull a card. What message do we need to hear as a collective? Hmm. What message do we need to receive? What message... Do we need to receive as a collective? All right. Courage. Forge ahead boldly. Maybe this is telling us to try something new or if we've had something in mind that we want to do but we're a little hesitant on doing it, jump out there, guys. Now is the time. It is a new year. It's a new you. Boom. Go get it. Right? Get it, girl. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Then, God, my stomach is growling. I'm starving. Then we have Witch Casket Exclusive, Oracle Card Stand, and Candle Holder. All right. So let's see what this says. Oh, and the side it says, set your question intention. Choose a card. Fun. So we can set our card here. I already put that little, but you could put a tea light candle. Can you guys see? So that is lovely. Thank you, Witch Casket. Yay. I love them so much. So, so much. Let me put all my stuff back where it goes. All right. There is one more item in here, guys. Uh, I'm excited about this. They kind of hinted earlier um, with the spoon. So this is our Witch Casket Elemental Scrying Bowl for Spirit. And here it is. Lovely. And they were talking about, um, the reason I got a tip off, it said stir your scrying water with um, the spoon. I totally just threw something across the room. But you can stir your water with the spoon. Uh, okay, let's read about it. Witch Casket exclusive. Use this magical altar bowl, uh, bleh, altar bowl to represent the element of spirit in your magical space. Fill the bowl with, with water. Give the water a stir clockwise with either a quartz wand or your index finger or your spirit spoon that you got. Um, and then gaze into the ripples. Use your intuition to interpret any images, messages, or symbols that present themselves. You can also drip molten wax into water and look at the shapes. That's really interesting that they said that because um, I had done a divination um, thing for the Sabbaths. And um, it didn't end up being, I didn't end up using it for what I had meant to use it for. So I think I'm going to redo that information and offer it. Um, I might do some videos here and I may offer some things in my store. Just letting you all know. Um, but it's called Ceramancy is um, when you dip the, the wax into a bowl and then you interpret it the... Uh, molten uh, shapes. 
Okay, so it says, you can also drip molten wax into water and look at the shapes, which are formed in both the wax and the water as it moves, and in the hardened wax as it solidifies and floats on the surface of the water. So, mm -mm. if you guys would like to see a video of how to do that, let me know. I'm going to be making a video. I already know this because um, I just decided. <laughs> So I think that is it, guys, for the witch casket for December 2021. Um, also, they say in the back of this, if you want to be featured in their highlights, um, on the back of this page, to hashtag them, hashtag witch casket, or hashtag witch casket feature, so they know they have your permission with credit on the back page of our pamphlet for our marketing purposes, blah, blah, blah. So here are some of the... Um, pictures that they chose to feature. There's somebody's kitty cat. Oh my God, I love it. Very good. So it, I know it's kind of hard to see, but how cute. So that is it for Witch Casket for December 2021. What is your favorite item? Th this box had a lot of really great things in it. The scrying bowl, the spoon, the uh, Oracle deck and the holder for that. How freaking adorable. I'm super, super excited. Yay. Um, so I'm going to pause this, but really you guys aren't going to notice the pause that much because I'm going to be right back, but mama needs some food. I'm just starving. So <laughs> just, you know, I'm not really going anywhere as far as you guys are concerned, but right back. Okay, guys, I am back. <laughs> I had to go eat something. Oh my God, I was starving. I realized that I hadn't really eaten since like this morning. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to just start opening this box. So I got this box in the mail and I was thinking, is this a bomb? <laughs> because I'm like, I'm not expecting anything from this area. Like I didn't order anything from Missouri. I don't know. And I'm like, what the hell? And it went to my boyfriend's house and then it was redirected to my house. So it's something that I had ordered like a while back. So I started to open it. And then I realized what it was and I was like, you know what, I'm going to open this with y'all. But I didn't want to put this as its own video because I don't know that anybody would be searching for this. So I just decided I'm going to throw it on the end of this video. So hopefully this doesn't go too long. So what this is, is I had signed up, excuse me, for the kitchen table gathering for um, 2021. And so what that is, it is a tarot get together um, to be taught by several different teachers and the one that runs that is um, Melissa Seninova. So if you guys are interested in tarot or you are um, a tarot reader, you should know who Melissa Seninova is. She is from this the St. Louis area, so that's why this box is from the St. Louis area. <laughs> and she has written several books. Um, I have her Kitchen Table Tarot book and her kitchen table magic book. And um, is that her only books? And then she has a deck and she also has courses. So anyways, I still haven't watched the replays of this because I had been working all that overtime, but um, there were several teachers, including her, that taught classes. And because it was supposed to be an in-person gathering, but because of COVID, it's not. The people who purchased it when it was supposed to be in-person got a goodie box. So that's what this is. So I got this little postcard and it says, Lisa, thank you for, thank you for something our gathering. Thank you for something. Our, okay. Anyways, I hope you join us again next year. Love Liss. She, uh, I've seen her sign it things Liss, Melissa sent it over. So, um, let's see, there's <laughs> things on top here. So the first thing that I got was a candle, one of those big ones. Okay, it doesn't smell, I wasn't really sure. And then I got some incense. It is Precious Chandon incense. I don't know what that smell is. Let's open it. Ooh, it smells good. There's something, I just saw something in here that I already have, which stay tuned till the end of this video because I'm gonna make an announcement. 
Oh my gosh, I can't get it out. There we go. Mmm, it smells good. So, this was in here. So, the um, Luna Soul Tarot deck. And I'm not going to open this. I actually did a video of this. So, I'll try to post it right here. Um, so, if you guys are interested in seeing all of these cards, um, how exciting, you will be able to see those on my other video. But I'm going to say something about that in just a moment. Then I have a, oh, it's broke, a yellow chime candle to go with my other yellow candle. Then I have a, oh, a little bag that was created by Moonlit Faye. I actually follow her on um, Instagram. Cute. It's got a little magnetic snap. And I could put crystals or something in there. How pretty is that? I love her, um, her little logo dealie that she's got on top of there. How cute is that? Awesome. And then we have a Madame Pamita. She's written books. I feel like she has, isn't she the one that has the candle magic books? Um, oh shit. Hold on. We have a jumper. Okay, got it. All right, so we have a Madame Pamita. Maybe I'm making that up. Uh, there is a Madame something with a P that writes a candle magic book, I think. Spiritual oils, bountiful blessings, harvest your rewards. And it looks like maybe there's some goodies on the bottom. Let's smell this. Ooh, I put it on myself. This smells very, um, mmm. All over myself. It smells very fall. All right, it says, receive miraculous gifts that make life a delight. Lovingly handcrafted at Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. Very nice. So it smells great. And then inside that little thing, oh, okay, these are actually beads. So I got like what looks like a green adventuring bead because it has a little hole in it. And then this looks like some sort of jasper. And then it's a it's black. I'm not sure what it is. And then there's two little these also look like some sort of jasper if they are stones, but they're little um, round beads. Very nice. Got those. And then, well, I just, this is the, um, oh, it's a coloring book. Okay, I thought this was something else. So I got the Liminal 11. Um, maybe it's not a coloring book. I'm lying to you. There are some, there are some pages to color, though. This is, ooh, okay, see this? Hopefully I'm in frame. Very nice. So this is from uh, Women Plus Patterns Plus Plants, a self-care coloring book. So if you guys can see it in here. Yeah, this was just like um, one of their Liminal 11's uh, catalogs or whatever. So it'll just make me want to buy more stuff. <laughs> So that is that. And then there's one more. I got the, oh, fun! The Precious Possums Lenormand. Oh, fun! I don't have that many Lenormand decks. I think I actually only have one. Um, and it's actually, so uh, Moonlit Faye, it's her best friend, Jamie um, Sawyer. If you guys don't know her, I've done, um, I did an unboxing of her most recent deck. And then one of her decks, the, um, uh, Lenormand Path. Is that what it's called? Lenor Is that right? No, I just totally said it all wrong. Sawyer's Path. Sawyer's Path? Sawyer's Path. Anyways, it, it's her, it was her first tarot deck. I love it. So inside this it says, May these possums be a palm, be a balm for you. May they bring you clarity and confusion, peace in a struggle, and guiding light in starless night. So there was the inside of the cute little box. Here's the back. Okay, so here's my cute little Lenormand book. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
Yay! Um, I was talking on my tarot planner um, review video about one of the planners that I was reviewing actually has a, oh my god, these are so cute. They, um, it actually has a um, Lenormand, let me open up this box, Lenormand planner, um, kind of planner slash, you know, workbook to learn. And uh, so I will actually do a review on that here soon. And then, um, <laughs> Even have my Lenormand. So, okay. So we have, I'm going to go ahead and go through these. Rider, Clover, Sh Oh, I love the ship. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Home. I know a tiny bit about Lenormand. It's, it's something that I definitely, tree, have on my radar to learn. Clouds, Snake. Does that say ending? 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 I don't remember ending being... Okay, some of these are not Lenormand cards. <laughs> uh, gifts? Am I crazy? I don't remember there's something being endings. Scythe. Birch. Birds. There definitely seems to be way more cards than a normal Norman deck. <laughs> Wee babe. <laughs> How cute is that? Fox. Bear. Stars. These cards are actually pretty thick. I know you can't even tell. Anyways, Stork. But they're, they're a good quality card. Hound. Tower, Garden, Mountain, Paths, Mice, Heart, Ring, Book, Message, possum, okay, there's more than one possum, <laughs> and it's like apostrophe possum, <laughs> lilies, sun, moon, key, Fish, Anchor, Struggle. So it looks like, you know, like I said, there's there's way more cards in here than like a typical Lenormand deck, but you could probably pull out um, the actual Lenormand cards to um, use it as a Lenormand deck change. Or I guess with the rest of these, it's more kind of like an Oracle card, uh, Oracle deck. There's another Possum. Another possum. There's bunches of possums. Possum. And last but not least, the best possum. Look at her hair. It's purple. And I really appreciate these. So there's the backs of the cards. And they are, oh my god, purple gilded. Okay. I'm gonna shuffle the cards and then we're gonna look inside the little Lenormand booklet and see. All right, so the card we got is the Wee Babe. Uh, how cute is he? All right, hopefully these are in alphabetical order. No, they're not. Okay, let's see. Where is we? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so those possums, I wonder which one's which. It says like Possum Witch, Possum Ninja, <laughs> Possum uh, Divinity, Possum Diva. Maybe the one with the purple hair was the Diva. Uh, that's cute. Wee Babe, there we go. So it is 58. 
and it says, let me hold this up here. It says innocence, play are the keywords, alignment, positive, neutral. It says a beautiful day greets this wee babe as they wake from napping in the hydrangeas. With their energy stores freshly renewed, they can't wait to explore this lush little garden. Anything is possible in their eyes for no one has ever made them feel unaccomplished, unworthy, or unwelcome. And so they do the most daring, excuse me, most daring thing of all. They believe in themselves. In a reading, We Babe can represent a brand new start, uh, inexperience, pleasure without guilt, and even self-belief. Drawn with the tower, it could mean newfound independence. If drawn with clouds, it can symbolize feeling out of your depth. So there you go, guys. How cute is the little precious possum Lenormand? I'm gonna put this back in here. And my announcement, I'm sure you guys knew this was coming if you um, follow my channel, but I have finally reached 500 subscribers. I'm a tiny bit over that. And so that means you guys are getting a giveaway. And I don't skimp on my giveaways. You guys are gonna get some good shit. So this deck is actually going to be in it because I already have this deck. And so I'm going to set that aside. Um, I have tons of things that I've gotten in all my boxes that I have set aside for you guys. I will do a video. Um, hopefully by Monday, I will have the video out for you guys. And um, I'm going to show you everything that's going to be in that giveaway. Plus, I'm going to offer um, some things from my witchy shop for you guys to pick out and will be included in the giveaway. So, um, if you guys want to stay tuned for that, that would be great. Again, I'm going to try to get the video out by Monday. Hopefully, um, I need to go through all of my stuff because I'm still kind of packed from when I moved and I need to make sure that I've got all the things that I'd like to actually give to you guys um, in the giveaway. So, I can show you guys in the video. Yay! So, next, um, I'm, I'm going for a thousand subscribers, y'all. A thousand subscribers. Tell your friends, because that'll be my next giveaway. So, <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for the Witch Casket for December 2021. And then my extra goodies I wanted to show you. And again, don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment below what your favorite item is from the Witch Casket uh, box for this month. I don't know that I can pick, but maybe the Scrying Bowl might be my favorite. And um, if you're not a current subscriber, guys, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a current subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys and stay tuned. You wanna be a subscriber for um, my giveaway that's coming up. So till next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.